Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So, yeah, look at that. That economy left, and I got a new mug. So, that's a nice thing. Uh, it's not the one my niece sent, but I'll show you guys that one before it's all said and done. So, you guys remember this little Taoli electromagnetic piston engine that we built? Uh, if not, well, I'll put a link to it right there. But, one of you... Now, they asked me not to give away their name, but they are from Texas. In this box, we have a project. I'll put this little fella right over here in front of that oil bottle rack. We'll get this ripped open. Show you guys what we get to work on today. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this box cut open here. And, uh, I was really impressed. <clears throat> they sent me an email and asked if uh, I'd be interested. And I said, absolutely. So, look familiar? Yeah. Let's rip it open. So this in here was the electromagnetic piston engine. This is the steam pneumatic piston engine. So we'll lay all of our parts out here. Probably don't need to watch all this. We're gonna do a compare and contrast between these two. All right. Well, that's a little bit different than that one is, but same size base, castings look the same. Um, it's just a different way of making this flywheel move. Let's get busy putting it back together or putting it together for the first time. We'll look at our instructions. You guys can see all that. I'm trying a different lighting out here. So, okay. And once again, when the speed slows down or gets stuck, take it out, remove the internal impurities. So, we haven't had to do that with this one yet. Fire it up, it should still run. So yeah, that one still operates just fine. Turn this little guy off. And this here, I believe this is an air compressor. Believe it or not, as small as it is. We put our USB power in there, and we've got an air port there. So that's kind of exciting. Set that out of the way. We'll lay the sum of our parts out. I'll get them all out of the bag. I'll get them laid out here on the ground. We'll get the camera readjusted so you guys can see what we're doing. We'll start building another engine. So, everything's laid out where we can see it. Take a look at our cylinder block here. Anodized aluminum. Aluminum. They do have brass liners in each of them. Which is pretty nice. And, once again, comes with all the tools, the hardware, and... Well, it even comes with, sorry about reaching in front of that, but it even comes with the air compressor. I guess as long as you've got a USB port and a desire for an engine, this has got everything in it you'll need. So, let's look at something. I'm thinking that, uh, you guys remember on this electric one that we did, I was wondering why they had that extra linkage up here. That we could have just moved this rod down. We're going to check. And, yeah, it's the same rod. So if we'd have just moved this down here, much like that, this one's going to be, none of this would be necessary, but we wouldn't have all that extra motion. Get him set out of the way and uh, start going on this. It's going to be our cylinder riser. That'll go there. We need the cutout to be up on it to clear. You guys see that rise in the center here? We need that to be up to clear that. 
So, all right, well, we'll get this little feller bolted on right here. I'll keep moving ahead on this. We're just going to put everything together loose, just like I did on that one there. Make sure that nothing binds up, everything spins free, and it works. This is probably going to be a fairly short video, guys, but that's all right, isn't it? I don't know if you guys noticed, but we've got a new mat on here. So we got rid of that well, ongoing project that was the economy engine. This thing was so stained up and dirty, I thought we might as well change it. So... All right, well, that's assembled and loose. I'm going to need one of our rods. It's going to be our piston here. That guy's hollow. See down in there? I think this is just going to be a single acting engine. I don't think it'll be a double acting since there is no cylinder head. Hmm. Kind of different. And we'll get our rod put in here, and this will get hooked up back here in the back. So, all right, I'll get that assembled. I'll show you guys what we got when we get that done. We'll roll it over, make sure everything's turning free. And uh, I believe this here is going to be our valve. So, all right. So we've got our power piston installed, and uh, turns nice and free well, once again this isn't bolted down tight and we haven't oiled anything so it does say on here to use a non-viscous lubricant so that'll be uh, well, essentially the same as what we used on this so let's get it flipped around here and we'll get our valve gear assembled much the same as the other side but there are two different size pins that go through here this one here is shorter. You want it to be shorter so it doesn't stick out on either side of this pin, this piston. So I guess that's the only thing that a person actually kind of has to think about a little bit is oh, make sure you get the right one in the right hole. So see if I can do this where you guys can't see absolutely anything. Just like that. And again, this one's hollow too. So. That's assembled. We'll take this little nylon spacer here. That goes on the inside. So that way we don't rub metal on metal. I don't drop this in like I dropped that last one about four times. There. Slider. Oh, piston in here. That slides on, and then just this little retainer will slide over and lock it all together. Pretty simple, fellas. <clears throat> Let's uh, get this guy snugged up. I have to do some adjustment on it, but we can do that, right? Got her snugged up. I think it's good to go. Let me pull you guys back out. We'll get uh, resituated. And it did come with airline, so we'll get that all hooked up. And, uh, yeah. All right. Get you guys pulled out. All right. Well, hopefully you guys can see this a whole lot better now. Now, I was wrong. I thought this was going to be our valve piston. And that was going to be our power piston. It's backwards. This is our valve. That's our power piston. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get some oil out. And we'll just use Marvel Mist Oil because they want uh, a non-viscous lubricant. Just apply a little bit to everything. Just to make sure we're good. We didn't have any issues out of that last one, but... You know how that goes. If we aren't prepared, well, we're not ready. It says not to oil this, but you got to oil everything, right? Yep. 
Let me get a little bit down in here. Sorry. You guys can't see what I'm doing. All right. Now that I'm going to get our inlet line. I don't necessarily like this part of it, but this, you have that hole. And this just gets forced down into that hole. So, yeah, I guess. All right, well, let me, uh, let me get our little air compressor here. And I'm not sure, but you guys can see that. This looks like it's got a speed control on it, possibly also. It feels like it. So we may have a variable speed. Get our airline hooked up to this port on the end. And get this hose to lay down out of the road. Get it out of the way. Well, I guess we'll... Okay. We'll get our USB. We'll plug it in. We'll get to see what happens here together, guys. Get a little pump running. <laughs> it is a variable speed compressor. Sounds like a flubber machine. Well, let me say we turn it off. We change our valve position here and get it to run backward. So what we're going to do is, I guess that pump's still running. We need to unplug it. It doesn't have an off switch. Okay. So I don't know. You guys will be able to see it or not. But right here, this is at bottom dead center. If I turn it around, it's all the way back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this 180 degrees away. So that should essentially then make it run the opposite direction. So with this and all the way to the front, and this all the way at the bottom, we'll have our timing set. We should run the opposite direction now. And you can adjust the timing on these on any steam engine just by where that's clocked to make it start, you know, in minutes air or steam before top dead or after top dead, however you want it. Compressor's back on. Cute little air compressor. So now we're running <clears throat> top back instead of top forward. I'll let this guy sit here and run in for a little while. Doesn't seem like it's 100% as happy as it could be. I'll do some tweaking on it here. Sure didn't like that. I'll sit here and monkey with this a little bit more, guys. We'll get it. It doesn't make a whole lot of wind, but I guess it doesn't need much. All right. I'll sit here and dial with this and see if we can't get it to cooperate a little bit better all right guys well it's been a little bit i have monkeyed with it i played with the timing and so on and uh you know, we're still using you know, the factory supplied little air compressor that it came with that thing doesn't make hardly anything for wind or pressure so it uh i guess the outcome is less than amazing but
it doesn't sound like the amazing flubber machine, but yeah, I mean, it's tell you what, let's hook this up to a, an actual air compressor and we'll put five pounds to it and see what we come up with. All right, we'll pull this thing off. And, yeah, I mean, there's it's pretty much a, an aquarium pump, and it could be the fact that. Yeah, I need to run this thing in a little bit more, but, yeah, so, and after setting the timing and so on, I realized that this cylinder up here in the front, where our valve is, yeah, it can be moved in and out, so that can help to also set timing, so let me get that other air compressor hooked up, we'll put our little aquarium pump back here out of the way, and, uh, take our line i'll hook it up i'll try to make it as quiet as i can but you guys are going to hear it run let me get that hooked up well there hopefully that compressor isn't too loud but we've got four pounds at it now oh let me open the valve sorry guys yeah it's a, a nice running little engine it's just this little guy here. I don't think it has quite enough poop to get it to run right, but yeah, that's running on four pounds. Let me open it up a little bit. Pretty neat little engine, and you know, mind you, it is single acting, you know, versus oh, like a Stewart S50 or something where it pushes the piston back up. We're relying on the flywheel to carry it over. And push it back out so all right well i'll let this thing sit out here and run for a while maybe it can kind of lap itself in but hey thank you guys for watching i know it was a short one but i really appreciate this little engine too it's kind of neat so all right guys thanks again for watching if you're not subscribed well let's put it right here this time click right there and uh We'll see you soon with another project, and uh, maybe you guys can give me a hand on that one. All right. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you.